Dr. Robert Salter, one of the world's foremost orthopedic experts, is very much at home in Toronto's Hospital for Sick Children. In his 40 years at Sick Kids, he has held the positions of Chief of Orthopedic Surgery and Surgeon in Chief, and has counted Dr. William Mustard among his colleagues. Like his mentor, Dr. Salter also developed an operation that now bears his name. 35 years ago now, we carried out a worldwide epidemiological study of the incidence of congenital dislocation of the hip. And what we found was that in, in countries worldwide where the newborn babies are carried on their mother's back or on the side with the hips flexed, that is bent up, in the same position they were in in, in the uterus before birth, the incidence of dislocation of the hip was very low. By contrast, however, in those countries where the babies are strapped to a board with their hips straightened right out, there's a very high incidence of dislocation of the hip. Now, in the younger children, there isn't a problem because if you put the hip back in very young children and hold it in some way, the hip will develop well in most of the patients. But after about a year and a half of age, if the diagnosis hadn't been made before, the incidence of failure was very high. And it was for that group that we developed the operation. And what we decided to do is to, to change the direction of the whole socket, that is from there to there. And the way we accomplished that was to divide the bone through and then change the direction of the socket. This left a gap in here. We took bone from the top, put it in the middle in a wedge shape, and put this pin across. Sometimes we use two pins. Other people call it the solder operation, but I still to this day call it the osteotomy. We can see that you can straighten the hip out, and you can move it this way, you can move it all ways, and it doesn't come out. It's very stable. So six weeks later, the child can get up and start walking again. The Salter operation also turned out to be an ideal treatment for leg Perthes disease. In 1970, Dr. Salter turned his attention to a radical new well, treatment for joint injuries. Yeah, but it was the result of a lot of observations. Uh, as a young doctor, seeing the uh, harmful effects of immobilization, patients coming out of cast after two or three months and being barely able to move the joint and having a lot of pain, and uh, I suffered a lot of injuries as an athlete, uh, playing, playing football and hockey and as a boxer. And I learned that at, uh, if I could uh, stay away from an orthopedic surgeon and not be put in a cast, which was the traditional treatment for joint injuries, that I did very much better. It was through the animal research that we learned that continuous passive motion, and that was the term that we coined for it, uh, was safe and that it was effective it absolutely improved the rate of healing of injuries uh, in the joint. It was such a radical concept that originally a lot of people said that it, it was impossible, it wouldn't work. And uh, I'd like the Roman rule that says that the one who says it can't work should never interrupt the one who's doing it. It has taken time, but at some 40 articles uh, later in the literature and uh, both research and clinical have influenced uh, orthopedic surgeons in other centers. And I'm told by the engineers who, who helped uh, me design the, the devices for the human that these devices are being used in uh, 15,000 hospitals in 40 countries worldwide at the present time. One of the greatest challenges about joints is that articular cartilage or joint cartilage, which is covering the ends of the bones, does not normally heal or regenerate. But with continuous passive motion, we've been able to influence a tissue that normally produces bone. It's called periosteum. It covers the bone and put it into a big defect in the joint. And with continuous passive motion, it actually stimulates that tissue to change its whole phenotypic expression and produce cartilage rather than bone. And from a scientific point of view, that's very exciting.